Well, we have here with us Larry Halsey, the inventor of the roll of hand game. And so what we're going to do is sit down here and play a round or a part of a round just to explain the details of the game. So Larry, if you want to just go ahead and kind of explain a few things to get us started, and we'll just go ahead and play like we did earlier. Well, roll of hand is played with the hands of poker, but it's non-gambling. Uh, <clears throat> you can play with uh, five card draw, and that's, I think, what we'll do is play a couple hands like that. Uh, the players, or the, the players, each um, person that deals the cards, because every, every play the, the cards go to the next person, and they can deal the cards uh, five card or seven card or whatever they do, but five and seven are your standard ones, right? That right. Are used. Yeah. Right. And the other thing I want to point out is before you start playing, you determine the length of the game. Once around the board, or if you're playing by points, a uh, certain point limit, uh, maybe by time, uh, but it's designed to mom and dad to play with the kids. Mom and dad can compete between them and having the kids play with them. Uh, they like to play some with uh, play money and some with points. And uh, to start off with, I'm going to play a five card draw. You deal each player around the board five cards. And uh, as you play it, you might see where you want to change the rules. The rules are open to the players. I'm going to play, uh, well, before I look at the cards, I should have said jacks or wild. Jokers are always wild, and uh, the first person to the left of the dealer rolls, looks at his cards, he rolls the dice, looks at the board, and figures out what hand he thinks he can draw for. And all these little boxes here have the different hands that you're going to shoot for, but you can only play whatever you roll on the dice, basically, correct? I mean, right. as we get into it. So we start at the corner there. It says start. And then we got the, are you going to be orange or red this time? I'll be orange. Okay, I'll be red. So that's where the players start. So what I'm going to do is roll the dice. I got a six. Oh, boy. Which is good. One, two, three, four. You do not count five, the no hand six. squares. You don't count those. You skip them. So that'd yeah. be five and six. So he's got these hands that to choose from what he thinks he might be able to draw to. Right, so what I want to do is look at the, the cards I have and I can try to make any of these hands that are listed on here. In the event I don't make any of them, in order to advance around the board, if I want to, since I've got six, if I want to play one of these two, even if I fail, I don't go back any further than this. So it's to my advantage to, if I'm going to play with my focus to get around the board, it's to my advantage to play one of these two, so that in the event I fail, I go back. If I make one of these, I stay there, or if I don't think I can make any of them, I can fold, but that's pretty dumb. I should shoot for one of these in the hopes that I get it, and if I don't, I only go back to here. So I'm looking at my cards to see what I think I can do. And this is the easiest one to get, so I'm going to try for one pair. So Larry will move me there. And, and now it, it advances around the table, the each, the each player. Right. And now it's back to the dealer, me. I'll roll the dice. It came up four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. I look at my hands. What did I call a while? Um, <laughs> you know, I don't remember. <laughs> You can say you, uh, we, whatever you want to play. This is just kind of a demonstration game. So, yeah. um, so that you can choose from. Since you're not past no hand, you've got to try real hard to get one of those four to advance. I'm, I'm going to try for two pair. Okay, worth twenty points or twenty dollars if um, in the play money. 
if that's what a person desires, or you don't have to follow that at all if your goal is to just see who gets around the board first. Now, five card, you keep two cards, three cards, four cards, up to three you can draw back. In an attempt to make the hand that to you're trying to get. Hand. And I need to mention, if you by chance get a hand that is better than what you're on, you don't advance necessarily, but you don't have to go back. No, you Correct? You can stay. If you're, he's playing for one pair, which is worth 10 points, but uh, let's say he drew four of a kind worth 70 points. He did not get to 70 points. He only gets 10 points, and he stays there. Because mm -hmm. he got uh, one pair or any given hand. If he draws a hand that's worth more money or more points, he just stays with the hand that he played for. Right. So what you're you're in this never-ending quest of pitting the board versus the roll of the dice versus the cards that you draw. And it is a I got to add as a card newbie, a real good knowledge of the different um, hands is really helpful in the game. But it doesn't take long to learn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I got to look to see. I'm going to try for one pair. Um, no two cards are alike, and obviously if you were playing the game you wouldn't be telling this to everybody, but this is for sake of demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these cards here in the hopes that I, I'm going to give you three. I want to get rid of three. One, two, three. And I'll see. And every, everybody will draw the amount of cards they want, and as the dealer I'm going to take three and try to get two pair. Alright, so is it my turn or yours? No, it's your turn. Okay. Now what I have here is I've got three tens. I was shooting for one pair. Now three of a kind. Um, this is one of those deals where you can choose if you're wanting to play for, for points or play money dollars or just to get around the board because if I wanted to I could have tried playing three of a kind now that's a risk because I wouldn't know if I got it but it's also worth thirty dollars and I've only been there since my goal is to get around the board basically I played for one pair or I've got a hand that is better worth more so what it does is I get to stay there basically and if I didn't get this then I'd have to go back to no hand and I, that, did I explain that correctly? That's okay. right. Yeah. And I was playing for two pair, and I did not get even one pair, so I got to go back. Now he's further ahead of me. All right, so that ends that round. So now the cards advance to the next player, which is me. We'll shuffle them up. All right. I'm going to call it five card deal and I'm going to declare um, aces wild. So the jokers are always wild but we'll also be able to take the aces and play them as wild to make whatever suit we want. So there's one, two, three, four, and that should be our five cards. So now everybody takes their cards and looks at them and since I'm the dealer, the person to my left, would be the first one to roll, which comes back to Larry. So, here I go. I got four. One, two, three, four. And I don't have <laughs> nothing to play with again. <sighs> That's what you rolled last time, isn't it? You rolled yeah. four because you're behind no hand. I have. Now, I can go ahead and roll too, can't I? Yep. Take my turn. four. So it would be this four here. So I have my choice of four of a kind, two pair, flush, or straight flush. And being as I'm a card newbie, I don't remember what these are. But the chart, or the little instruction chart, or instruction page that comes in the game does a really good job explaining the different hands. There's what, seven or eight different hands in there you can draw for on the game. And I forget, there's a total of you got a different. So you call deuce as well? Um, aces. Ace. Ace wild. Yep. Mm. So now it goes player to the left, back to Larry. He's uh, got to decide what his strategy is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try for two pair again. Okay. 
And I think I, I have no two cards alike, so I'm going to go ahead out of all these, the, the one that gives me the best chance of advancing, because that's what I'm playing for, is two pairs. So I'm going to set myself on two pair and hope that I can make it. So now it goes back around to you, and you've got to tell me if you want to, how many cards you want, since I'm the dealer. Give me two. Okay, two right off the top, and I'm just going to take my chances here. I need two pair. I don't know, but I'm going to give these three up and see what I got. Okay. I was playing for two pair. I only got one. Nothing. I go back. If I was playing points, subtract 20 points off of my sheet. If the child was playing for money and you was helping him, he would lose it's up to the the players. You're talking uh, the play money in the game. The play right? money. Yeah. Uh, he would lose ten dollars. So now there's a little math involved. Teach the the young one what's half of twenty or seventy. That way he gets to keep something. He's not having the cash and give it all back, right? Yeah. That way he gets something. Now I have an interesting situation here. Aces are wild. I've got seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack. And that could be considered jack. But I was playing for two pair. That you now what what's this called? I don't know what a, that hand is. That's a straight flush. And, uh, no, no. Oh. Uh, right here. Okay. It's straight. forty is worth forty points or forty dollars. Mm -hmm. You were playing for twenty, so you stay there and you yeah. advance and I went back. He's right. getting ahead of me. So right here, this set of cards, even though that's a really good hand, yeah. I wasn't on a straight. There wasn't a straight in here, it was a straight flush, but that's different than a straight. And so now because my suit did not match where I was at, but it was a better hand than where I was at, I don't get penalized, but I also don't advance, so I stay where I'm at. You, you stay where yeah. you played for. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to teach people the different hands of cards, and it's uh, uh, absolutely, you can play it however you want. Well, I'm going back to the five card draw, and I'm going to play the deuce as wild. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and... I get to roll, don't I, Larry? Since yep. you just dealt the cards. You're the first. And you said deuce is wild, didn't deuce you? Deuce is wild. Okay, that's good. So, roll that. Okay, the dice says three, so I have to either do a flush, straight flush, or a royal flush. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah, because they're all high amounts. You know, <laughs> the, the easy hands to get are lower, like $10 or 10 points, 20. Flush, straight flush, and royal flush is 50, 80, and 90. So. Now, he does have one option. He doesn't, ha looks like he doesn't have a good hand. He can fold and stay right where he's at. He does not advance. He does not go back. He just folds up. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I do have, uh, and of course, I want to say again, you don't reveal the cards to your, your other players, but I have a, a deuce that was wild. Um, but there's nothing here really. I mean, it's. You ain't got a, I don't have enough. You don't so have enough. it's to my advantage to just hold myself and hope that I can roll a larger number to get me down here to, if I'm going to just play here on the board. So I'm going to fold now, and I count myself out. I rolled a five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because we don't count the no hand. And uh, although I have a better hand than one pair. But I get closer to him. I don't even need any cards. I got three threes. Uh -huh. I got three of a kind. If I was playing for points, I just went for three of a kind. It's 30 points against 10. But if you're playing the first one around the board, you want to stay close to your yeah. opponent. And you were telling me earlier that you purposely designed the board to be really more difficult in this corner here. 
and then once you break out of that, it's not super easy all the way around, but this is the big corner you got to work around. And once you get past this, if you're playing to see who gets back to the start first, then this is the one you want to concentrate on getting past. Okay, oh, I am going to declare uh, five card jacks as wild. Jacks. Jacks are wild. Two, three, four, five. Now you, you can see how dad and mom can compete getting around the board, but at the same time, the children, they could be helping them, looking at their hand, kind of explaining and bringing the kids along with them around the board, but they might be playing for the play money or points. Uh, or maybe the kids are playing, it's, it's just the luck of the dice and the cards, mm -hmm. which hands you get to draw for. And there's a little bit of a strategy involved in that you're going to play the odds, say, well, what are my odds of getting some of these here? Or would I be better to just hold my ground? Jacks are wild. Yeah. Three. One, two, three. Huh. I'll, I'll play for two pair this time. Mm -hmm. Now it's yours. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice. I get a four. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. So I got one pair, which would help break me out of this corner. So I'm going to move my peg to one pair in hopes I can get it. At the moment, um, I don't, but the odds are that I will get it, I really hope. If I don't get one pair, then i got to go come back here to no hand. And I have no choice, because I could fold if I wanted to. I suppose that's another option. And, you know what? I think I am going to do that. I think I'm going to just fold till I get a hand that I like better. Give me three cards. Okay, I'm going to fold and I'm going to give Larry three more cards here. Three, three, three good ones. Ha! He did it. I played for two pair and he gave me two threes. I had eights in my hand. So I stayed. Alright. Now we're even up. <laughs> okay, my turn to deal. Um, I'm going to do a, uh, let's do a seven card, just so that we can show people how it is. I'm a little shaky yeah. on that. You know what? Let me do a five, and then when it's your turn, you do it's the seven. It's actually my turn now. Oh, it is? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's do a seven then. We'll do a seven I lose card. Track. I think if you have more people playing, it's easier to remember who yeah. gets it next, because, yeah. Okay, so seven card draw. You do two cards down and one card up per player. Jokers are always wild, and that is a joker in this deck of cards. Okay, you're first. All I'm right. Dealing. So I got to pick these two up and have a look at them. Nothing to brag about. So now, I guess I'll go ahead and roll the dice. Right. Yep. Let's see what I can do. Oh, we're on two that pair. Is not too good. Three. So these are all hard hands. Uh, I think I'm going to take my. I want to try and get up in here, so I can fold now, can I? Fold. I just say I'm. I'm not even going to bother. I got five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going. I'm going to go for one pair. He's not worth any points, but. I want to get around the. Now I would deal to each player. <coughs> That's a joker. There's my one pair. I got two pairs. So now I am ahead. Now it's your pair. Okay. And since I handle the five card better, it's you told me a five card actually gives you one extra card. Yeah, you potentially. Get, potentially you get, one extra you card. You get five cards dealt, you can throw away three and get three more. So that's your plan with like eight cards. Seven one, card, you two, just seven card. Three, four. Nothing five. wild? Oh, um, let's do Jack's wild. Jack's wild. And remember, 
the game as you get onto it, maybe you want to change the rules. It's open. You change the rules just as long as everybody knows what you're doing. Yeah. And and uh, I and the other thing about a wild card, I don't have to declare a wild uh, if I don't want to. Yeah. What that does is it gives me less of an option, but it will also give everybody else less of an option because it forces them to make the hand. So if you want to declare something as not wild, when you deal, if you're up here and people are back here, that'll help to force them into getting one of these hands. Okay, so let's we'll see what I have here. Okay, now okay. we're talking. You, you don't, so I'm full mm -hmm. Come on, I need... Now here comes the luck of the dice. I'll show you here in a minute. Three. I needed to roll a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could play for either one of those two, lose, I'd go back to here. Mm -hmm. But a three, one, two, three, I fold. There's no way I can draw that. All right. So that's the luck of the dice. Yeah. Four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to attempt to do one pair because I know I can make it. I've got it right now. Okay. So that ends that round then because I made it up there. Nice. So once again, up, caught up with me. Yeah, when I first came here, I knew nothing about the game, and I do need to learn more about the different uh, hands that you're dealt and what they're called, because that can help help you get around the board when you have low rolls. If you're playing with multiple people in low numbers of the dice, that makes the game a bit more difficult. And that's all explained in the rules of the game. Yep, and the included but instruction you sheet. Once again, you can change the rules to suit yourself. This, the main thing is to sit down, family, and have fun. And we're, we're battling out, trying to get around, but we could be helping the kids. Okay, now, I'm going to play that seven card again, but this time I'm going to call the Aces Wild. I need help. Okay. Well, I guess I need to roll, don't I? Four. One, two, three, four. They're all kind of tough. of a kind. Oh boy, that'd be nice. If I mess up, then it puts me all the way back here, doesn't it? Yeah. If I can't get any of them. Um, but you know what? I'm going to live large. So I'm going to take my additional cards from you. And let's see here. Three of a kind. I'm going to try for that one just to try to get up. I hope. Oh, a straight I'm going to fold. There ain't no way I can draw that. What are you playing for? Three, Three of a kind. kind. And I called aces one. Did you? <laughs> I wish we'd have called wild on these. I had this wild here and I was hoping I could get another ten. Or yeah, or even two but here. If, if I if I could get a better hand, that'd be my only saving grace. But I don't think I don't have it, do I? No, three of a kind. No. No. So because of that, I have to go all the way back here. I tried. You tried. I thought I was going to try for it. Well, yeah. <laughs> but that's how the that's how the game is fun. You kind of wager. You know, yeah. can you do it? Well, I see, thought with a while, like if you would have got it, the next time one, two, a three. Push you past that no hand, and yep. then if you don't make it, you only go back to there. All right, let's do um, a five card draw, aces wild. One, two, three, four, five. My roll. Come on, a two. Oh, 
All I am playing for is three of a kind. Ace is wild, right? Yep. Was that three? Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm going for two pair. <coughs> okay, how are you going, Larry? You need cards? <laughs> I got a straight. Ace is wild, and Joker's wild. I got a three, four, five, six, seven. I'm so good. you can stay put because that was a better hand, even though straight yep. was back here. A well, straight is worth 40 points. And that's. We said that uh, aces were wild. Aces are wild. And I've got two tens and then an ace and another card. So that locked. that's why right. I picked two pair because that locked me in. Yep. So I was able to use what I had in my cards with the amount that I rolled to advance around the board. It's just those two we things both worked together. Years, yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Okay, your turn to deal, isn't it? Yep. Well, this time I'm going to call Jax. No, I am not. I'm going to go with Deuce as well. Five card draw. One, one, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Probably right hand. Yeah. yeah. Deuce is wild here. Why do you call deuces wild and then don't give me any? <laughs> okay, and I got a roll since you dealt. Player to the left. Oh, oh good. I got six. Roll. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I look to see what kind of hands there are on here versus what I have. And if I knew my hands better, I might try for something, but I see that I've got something right now that will guarantee me this position, so I'm going to go with that, and I'm going to stay there. Four. One, two, three, four. Now that's no hand. Don't count oh, that. So oh, One, two, three, four. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to this is you. No, that's, no, that's you. I'm going to go for the full house. Okay. All right, so my turn then. I'm going to show that I've got one pair. The square I'm on, and that's you're, where I'm going to stay. Uh, How about uh, you? Uh, 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 no, i got a, a full house. There's three of a kind and two of a kind. And uh, something tells me just to draw one. Oh, didn't get it. See, I had two wild cards. Yeah, that could have been good. Yeah. Yeah. So, since you didn't get it, you just go back to the no hand. I did that deliberately to show me to get around the board because so I, a little while ago he would had to go clear back here. I only had to go back there. Right, because you made it past there. That's why if you're back here and you roll a six or something. You just as well try for these guys up here. If you get them great, you stay, and if you fail, you only go back to here. It, it wouldn't be a good strategy to roll a six back here and then shoot for one of these in here, with an exception. If you're playing for points or play money, yeah. and you know from the hand you were dealt you got five of a kind, it would be worth going here and collecting your hundred dollars in play money or hundred points, yeah. because that means more in the game than just trying to get around it. Yeah. I think we did a good job explaining, Larry. Thanks for your time. Just remember, all, all, all the instructions are in the instruction sheet, but you can devi deviate from that. Just make the, the board a fun game. Yep, well said. But it, it gets to be competitive trying to get around the board first. Right. If, we, if you get more people playing, I can see that would be a lot of fun.